Rehabilitation work is currently being done at the St. Columba Anglican Parish in No. 2, East Kanji. Sasha Ramsaran reports. During a recent interview with priests in charge of the All Saints and St. Patrick's Anglican Churches, Rev. Dr. Andrew Hoyt, the priest had expressed his intention of having renovation works carried out at the St. Columba Parish at No. 2 Village, East Kanji. And recently, work has commenced on the building. In a discourse with Rev. Hoyt yesterday, he disclosed further details surrounding the decision to have St. Columba renovated. It is also my intention to ensure that we spruce up um, St. Columba as it were. When I came here, there was some work being done on the bridge and we sought to um, encourage and continue that work on the bridge. Um, then there was a problem with water. The water had been turned off for over a year and to find out that now there were, when we checked, as a matter of fact, when we were building the bridge, we recognized that there were actually four different means attached to the, um, to the church. Um, where they were coming from and why they were there, we don't know. So we have had to pick up that with, um, is it with the water company, right. and we are trying to reconcile that and we are trying to do something in relation to that so that the folks can have water there in the toilet and so forth. We have been able to use a substitute for a while where we have a tank and so forth for them to be able to have some water. But one of the things that really captures my attention tremendously is the, the building. The building is in quite a condition um, and um, the sides have rotten as a result of age and time. And the folks are thinking of moving on to a level where we can look at um, having a concrete structure. Uh, but there's a process through which we must go to get that done. We have to get permission from the, from the diocese in order for us to go ahead and get the work done. Reverend Hoyt also disclosed that the parish will be embarking on a Buy a Block initiative in order to raise funds for the project. But while we are waiting, uh, while we are, um, are going to be in the process of getting that permission, we want to put things in place in order to achieve the goal of having enough funds um, when the time comes. And so we are going on a, um, on a program of buying a block. That's the program we're going on. And we would like to have as many persons on board, especially those who attended St. Columba before, and those who attended St. Columba locally and overseas to buy a block and so that we can um, refurbish um, St. Columba and get it going and get it on the same level as, it, as the others. Father Andrew Hoyt also disclosed that the church is lacking a number of important liturgical items and is hoping that these items can be donated to the church. Even if we have to have a donation of a keyboard so we can have someone playing for us on a Sunday, Sunday morning, we're looking at that. Also, we have just identified some accolades and servers for the St. Columba Church. Another thing that we'd like persons to donate almost immediately is a cross. So we can have a, a processional on a Sunday morning, a cross. We need some um, candles. Um, Processional candles, at least two. We need a, a turbo, and um, we also need um, a boat. But the boat usually comes with the um, with the, with, with the turbo. And if we can get those, we'll be more than happy. In his closing remarks, the Reverend noted that there is quite a large plot of land behind the St. Columba Parish and he will be pushing the idea for a hall to be constructed at that site. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.